Uh, hi, everybody. Just wanted to give a briefing uh, related to our day's cases and just a couple other relevant topics uh, for the pandemic. Uh, unfortunately, we, ha we lost four neighbors over the last 24 hours, uh, all in the hospital. Uh, male, uh, 85, uh, 60, and 57, and female, 85. Um, it's been a tough week uh, with loss of life and certainly uh, want to keep these families in our prayers and all the families that we've lost in the pandemic. Uh, is, uh, this is very difficult uh, and none of us are able to mourn the way we, we traditionally would. Um, the other data outside of that looks pretty promising. Uh, the new cases, uh, 108 new cases. We have not had 108 new cases probably since around uh, Halloween. So uh, certainly uh, we're pleased uh, to be in the 100s, but to be at 108 uh, is good. We'll see what tomorrow brings us. I think yesterday we had 205, 108 today. Uh, certainly we're uh, starting out the week the right direction. Uh, positivity rate 4.7, uh, seven day average. Uh, and active cases are down to 2,690. Uh, so that is good data. Um, hospital, uh, we have 158. Uh, neighbors in the hospital now. Again, that's down again um, quite a bit. Uh, that's down, I think, 13 from yesterday. Uh, this is the lowest number we've had in a while. Uh, so again, I want to thank our hospital partners who've been working so hard, all of our nurses and first responders. Um, this is uh, very positive uh, that our medical infrastructure uh, is getting stronger and stronger. Uh, we have 32 neighbors in the ICU. Please keep those in your thoughts and prayers for good outcomes here. Uh, uh, we, we need some help with these uh, residents, get them healthy. Uh, and uh, so th those are all uh, very good. We, it looks like we don't have anyone waiting uh, discharge to a COVID transitional facility. Um, so uh, that's good. Uh, overall related uh, to the vaccine, um, just to go through this again, uh, we confirmed that we have uh, received our 1,000 doses of vaccine. We will have a clinic on Friday. Uh, we will put up appointments on Tuesday. Uh, in, or excuse me, today is Tuesday. I apologize. That is not accurate. We will put up a registration form on Thursday for that. Uh, I will have a briefing, uh, a press conference tomorrow making an announcement related to our pre-registration process for seniors. Uh, at that time, I will also confirm uh, what time the registration link will be available on Thursday for people to go and take advantage of the 1,000 new appointments. Um, a couple things related to second doses. Uh, we started second doses today. Uh, to give everybody a concept, today we were doing second doses for those who got shots on the 28th and 29th of December. And I think tomorrow we're probably doing the 30th and 31st. How it will work is we take all of your data and it all goes into a database at the state level. And my understanding is that some of you may have been getting text messages um, from the state uh, reminding you about potential second doses. We will send you an email if you went to the War Memorial for a shot or the On Center for a shot. Uh, five to seven days in advance, the email will come from COVID vaccinations, and then uh, that will help you schedule your second appointment. Uh, these text messages are coming from New York State for any New Yorker who's received a vaccine. Um, it's not specific to our site. Our site, you will still receive that email, uh, and you will then, uh, again, uh, be able to schedule your second uh, dose appointment related to that. Uh, so, uh, Again, tomorrow morning, we're going to have a press briefing um, going over our uh, pre-registration process for seniors. We'll also confirm what time the link for Thursday uh, will go live. Uh, and then uh, that will give uh, people the opportunity at new appointments in the community. Uh, again, we did receive 1,000 new appointments, 1,000 uh, doses of vaccine today. So we will move forward in scheduling uh, our new clinic for Friday. Uh, but overall, 108 new cases, uh, good. Positive rate, 4.7, good. Hospital number going in the right direction. Um, we're, we're turning the corner here. We seem to be smart. 
uh, stay at home when we're sick. I think that's the biggest risk right now besides gatherings is when we're sick, we have to rule out COVID uh, so that we can keep these numbers going in the right direction. Uh, but I, we will talk again tomorrow. Thanks.